Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. This is Safe Cloud. I had a request for figuring out how to make a macro, um, a simple macro, without having to take a lot of effort into making it for the exploration missions on State of Survival. So on BlueStacks, we're going to go through that right here. The first very important thing is make sure when you go to BlueStacks.com here, you download Try BlueStacks 5, the beta, right here. Um, if you do not have the beta, this will not work. You need the beta. Download the beta. If you're used to playing with BlueStacks 4, you'll have to redo most of your profiles and accounts. It does not transfer over. Um, so once you download Try BlueStacks 5 beta, you will go into this like you did for BlueStacks 4. It'll look much the same. Um, you'll have Play Store and System Apps on your master instance. Um, if you are like me and have multiple instances, what I've done here is I went in and set my master instance as kind of my clone instance. So when I go in and make all these other characters, I've just cloned the one master instance. Um, because of that, I don't have to go in and reset all the settings again over and over. I use a lot of different characters, so these are kind of the settings that I do. Um, if you have a decent computer you and just play one character, or maybe two, you should be able to go ahead and up all the settings to uh, really whatever you want. Um, uh, most, of, most of these I just go with the recommended settings. Um, I would, if I was just playing with the one, go back to compatibility for advanced mode and CPU and memory allocation. I would use high frame rates. I might go back to 60. Um, so after that, after I've made my master instance, I've cloned it out, and then I'll get a screen like this, where I can go to the Play Store, log into my Gmail account that I use, download State of Survival, and then I'll boot up State of Survival from there. And what it will look like is you'll get your... You'll get your A headquarters. It'll play like you're playing a brand new headquarters, but don't be concerned with that. You'll have to get to the point where you can go to your chief and then go to the profile and switch accounts. Do not bind your account because that will cause issues with the headquarters you wanted to load in. Switch to the head, switch accounts to your Gmail account or whatever account you have bound your wanted headquarters to. Um, once you do that, then you should get your headquarters on here. You can see um, when I come in, I've kind of clustered all of everything that I like to frequently do right in the middle here. Um, that's not necessary for this, but these are the things I click every time I come in. And with however many characters I have at this point, uh, it, it simplifies things. So I'll go over to here, pre Hero Precinct, and just go ahead and pick out whichever trail you want. Most of the time I go with Trail 5 just because it's quick. You can really do whatever you want. So from here, you will run this on the side over here. It says Open Macro Manager. This is not available in BlueStacks 4. You can see I already have one set up, but we're going to do a whole new one here. Um, so I'm going to hit Record New Macro, and as soon as I hit this, then it will start recording clicks. You don't have to do anything else, and we're just going to run through this once. I'm going to delay a few clicks here and there just for variable loading times. But after that, I'll show you how to set it up in the settings for this new macro um, so that you can just let it run and do its thing. So the important thing here is I'll go back one to the, the trail options. So click on 5. Now I'm not dragging or moving anything when I go into 5. This is the standard. So I'll go to Open Macro Manager, Record New Macro, and I'll just click on the little one because I think most of the time we don't need anything else. I'll wait 1, 2, and then Challenge, and let it load in. Now while it's doing this, you can see up in the corner here, it's got the time going. Oh, and here's a problem already. 
So on a new instance, you're not going to have your settings already and we're recording. So we're going to stop this recording and we're going to delete that recording because if we had the macro set to click these buttons every time, it would unclick them for the next ones and it would get us off sync. So we're going to go ahead and let this run through one. Or at the very least, and get this set up to 3x, x3, for speed and auto, so it can just do its thing. So we'll get to hang out for a second while this runs through one instance of what we want before we get into recording the macro again. You probably could record it from in the middle of this, but it's It'd be a lot smoother if you started from the very beginning of it. Now if you are trying to run, and you can run multiple instances and characters at the same time, you can move this window around and it won't matter. That's one of the great things about this macro manager is that it it really is not affected by moving the window around it is contained in this one instance um, so I can move this all over the place whereas an auto clicker you can't do that promise I don't usually use these heroes all the time. Okay, we're back here again, where we wanted to be. And everything's in the same placement. So we're going to go to Macro Manager, Open Macro Manager, Record New Macro, and then start our clicks. I do have the Hero Support up here. You don't have to have that. doesn't really matter either way, I don't believe. Um, it's just going to affect your strength. And maybe you'll clear it differently by a few seconds. Only way it's going to matter really I, th I believe is if you're trying to do this with much stronger explorations in which case you're going to have kind of variable time for completion but otherwise this should just be good to go especially at level five or the fifth trail. I always thought this was interesting though. If you look around at the background, you see like, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Tommy Hilfiger. In the backgrounds, different names like that. There's another one that's in the lab and you can see zombies kind of hitting on the glass in the background. I think they, they really did it well for the graphics and the, the backgrounds and stuff for this game. At least the expo exploration missions like this. Alright, moving forward. It's still on auto. You can see up here it's still recording. Um, my previous exploration macros, they last about two minutes. I'm not going to move him forward. The fewer clicks, the better. So fewer variables, that kind of thing. Um, so we got one more wave here. That kind of works in our favor, adding a little extra time to the end of it, just in case. So I'm going to wait a couple seconds before I click here, just to, let's see, I'm slow clicking, and I might go ahead and give two more clicks out of area, just in case. And stop recording, and this will be my... Yeah, the uh, names mess up a little bit.
gotta make sure you click in there again at, even if even if you hit edit all right so that should be it so if I click this it should run again and I'll just show you go to settings here now repeat action you can do however many times you want but I usually just do infinitely until stopped um, you don't want to change playback speed that's going to speed up your clicks and that will completely change how the macro interacts and it won't work so that might actually be handy too don't show macro window when execution finishes so when you stop it this window should not pop up again so we're going to go ahead and run this and you can see up here even it says first time and I'm not clicking anything on the screen see it, it went ahead and clicked down there for us um, so yeah explore trail two and a half minutes first time the more this go the more it runs it goes through of course that's gonna go up and we'll just let it run so two and a half minutes that's not bad either of course That's what, 20, 24 explorer trails in an hour and you don't have to do anything, just let it run. It's a very good way to spend the uh, bread explore trail stamina. Hopefully you can still see my cursor, it's up here at the very top. If you don't want to watch the rest of this, that's fine. Um, that's really all the instructions for this. The big key here is just fewer clicks the better, and fewer variables the better. I have a feeling this one's going to have to sit for a minute, as I think it finished quite a bit earlier than the one with the mind control. So we might, we might be sitting here for... Oh, there it goes. Okay. Dun, dun. Be one, two, and then you'll see in the middle up at the top, you'll see two little dashes. There is one, and you'll see another one here in a second. Yep, and that was it, and it's starting another one. So we're going to stop that. All right, and that's it. That's how you macro and auto run your explore trails in the Hero Precinct. Um, let me know what you think. If, there's, if, you have, if you have any issues or anything, just give me a shout. All right. Have a good one.